Well, we're ready to walk through our one, two, three, four for our axial live tooling. We'll go ahead and populate that table for you now and you can follow along. Number one, which axis? Well, we're still drilling along our Z axis. So we're gonna use that same G83 G code. Pretty straightforward. Now, here's where things get different. Number two and three, what is spinning? Our live tooling has a dedicated spindle motor for it. So we've got separate M codes for that. We're gonna use either an M133 or an M134. That's gonna answer, again, questions two and three. What's spinning and which direction? If we use an M133, that's gonna tell the control that we're using the live tooling spindle. It's also gonna tell the control to go clockwise. M134 would have gone counterclockwise. Now we're on to number four. Uh, how fast is it spinning? How many RPMs, revolutions per minute, are we gonna turn that live tooling? Here's where most people make mistakes when using live tooling. While on the main spindle, we use an S code to command our RPM, and on the secondary spindle, we use that same S code with a G14 spindle swap command. On our live tooling for milling and drilling, we use a P code to command how many RPMs we'd like to go. Uh, there might be a scenario someday on your machine where you want to run the main spindle and the live tooling at the same time. So we've given them separate codes. Main spindle, secondary spindle, S codes for drilling and milling, turning. And for our live tooling, we use a P code for drilling. So if I want to drill at 2600 RPMs, I'm going to command a P2600 with no decimal point uh, to control that RPM. Well, this is it, our final drilled hole of the video. We're looking right now at radial uh, live tool drilling, and we go back to our one, two, three, four. Number one, which axis? We're gonna be drilling along our X axis on our lathe. So for this, we're gonna use a, a G243. You'll see it right there on your table. The G243, by definition, drills along the X axis. Now, remember, this is a lathe. So all of our X values are in diameter. So two and three, what is spinning and, and which way does it spin? Well, what is spinning? It's gonna be that live tool motor. And we're gonna command that with an M133 uh, spindle forward or an M134 spindle reverse command. Which way does it spin? Well, this is where things get tricky. Now, I love rule books. <laughs> Here at Tip of the Day, we love rule books. I wish I could tell you right now to always use an M133 to go forward or to always use an M134 to go, to go reverse. But in this case, you've got to throw away the rule book. We really have no idea which way your particular geared head is going to turn. Lots of right angled heads have gear reversal in them. When you command an M133 to go clockwise, the tool might actually be going counterclockwise. You can only trust these. You need to visually verify every live tool that you use to make sure that it's spinning the way you intended. Well, we're here at the end of our live tool drilling video, but there's one thing that we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, we never talked about plane selection, G17, G18, and G19. And, and there's a reason for this, because on all Haas lays that are leaving the factory today, our drilling and tapping can cycles ignore your plane selection entirely. So if you've, have a, if you've got a lathe built since uh, right around June of 2012 with software version 1106 or newer, um, it's going to behave exactly like we described today. If you have an, a, an older lathe, something built before 2012, then check out the lathe manual that's shipped with your machine or talk to your dealer um, and get some pointers on how to program that piece of equipment um, exactly. Or you can just click on the bonus content at the end of the YouTube version of this video and download our document, right? We've got a little spreadsheet there that tells you all the different codes to use. We'll even give you proof programs for every Haas lathe made, whether it was made before or after 2012, just look at the document. Well, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. You don't want to miss what's coming up next. We've got some more videos on live tool tapping coming up. And um, like if you're on Facebook, you know, share, comment. We want to hear what you have to say. 
Well, thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.